Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be attempting to write a 5,000 word blog post in less than 10 minutes using Claude AI. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing I did was prime the AI. I told it that we'll be writing a 10,000 word blog post. Do you understand yes or no? I was gonna do 10,000 words, but I realized that's a little bit too much. So you can just change this to whatever word um, count you're going after. Then I asked it what is the best way to go about doing so. And it gave me some things or some tips in which I can keep in mind to reach that um, word count, but this is if you want to write the article yourself. So that wasn't really that helpful, but then I just told it to create a very in-depth blog post outline about the topic that I'll be writing for today, which is how to start a home garden. I want you to think of every single question, every single topic a person would have about this blog post and create an outline and write in Markdown. So we were able to get a detailed outline, as you can see here. Um, this is very, very detailed. We get an intro, planning your garden, selecting a site, determining garden size, choosing what to grow, preparing the soil, starting seeds indoors, where to start seeds, hardening off seedlings, transplanting outdoors, growing an outdoor garden, um, battling weeds and pests, ongoing maintenance, how to harvest, and a conclusion. So this, I would say, is a pretty in-depth blog post from, or sorry, a blog post outline from Claude. So we can definitely use this to be able to write a longer article. When you're trying to write a longer article, it's always best to get a more in-depth outline because the more outlines you have, the more information you can write about. So now it's going to be the fun part where we actually prompt the AI to write the full article. First, I've prompted the AI to write the introduction. So I told it that we'll be writing the full article and writing each section individually. But first, we'll be writing the intro. I want you to write an engaging intro with a hook and include information that sets up the flow of the article. So as you can see here, we're, we're able to get a pretty decent output. This intro is pretty long um, compared to if you were just to run it within the full article. It's about 250 words. Have you ever dreamed of of walking out of your back door and picking fresh tomatoes, peppers, or peas out of your own garden. Growing your own fruits, vegetables, and herbs can be extremely rewarding experience. So this is the intro. I'm not going to spend too much time on it because I think this is pretty good, but it shows how we're going to be approaching this blog post. We'll be writing section by section. So now let's go ahead and tell the AI to write the second section. And also, if you would like us to write you a free blog post of your choice, check out the link in the description below this video. I've been writing tons of articles for clients and I've gotten really good at writing high quality content for any niche and any topic. So if you wanna check out that service for completely free, I'll leave a link in the description below this video. So the prompt that I'll be using for the next section and all of the other sections will be to tell the AI to write this section as if it was its own article. So be in depth, write in an engaging human-like style, always include lists, tables, bolded words, and always write in markdown. So let's go ahead and see how this prompt does. Uh, maybe it'll be good or maybe we'll have to kind of change it around. But again, let's see how this kind of comes out. So planting your own home garden, that is section number one here. So planting your garden. So it is writing about the second section. Okay, so it talks about selecting the best site. We have sunlight, water access, drainage, a hardness or hardness zone. And then we have an example of a garden site analysis with a table. That's pretty good. And um, we'll let it finish writing here. Okay, so this is the second section that we got back. Um, I thought it was going to be a little bit longer, so about 400 or 500 words, but overall it was a pretty good output. We were able to get about 455 words for this specific paragraph for this specific section, which is actually quite a lot. Now let's go ahead and just um, kind of optimize this prompt a little bit more so it, it's a little bit better. So the updated prompt looks like this. I told it to continue writing the next section, but I want you to write this as if it's your own article while still keeping the overall article topic in mind. So be in depth and write on every single information a person would have or a person would need for this section. Write in an engaging human-like style. Always include lists and tables, bolded words, and write in markdown. So as you can see here, it is writing on the second section, which is preparing your garden soil. So again, that so that section has continued writing and it's about 242 words. So again, I would like it to be a little bit longer. So I'm going to, again, change up the prompt to see if we can get longer outputs. So what I did for this prompt was I told it to write a full article answering every question that a person would have for the section, which is starting seeds indoors, choosing seeds or seedlings. And then there's a couple of sub points there. So let's see if this makes a difference in the output length that we're able to get back. 
So let's see how long this output was. It's about 381 words. So we were able to get a little bit much longer output. Again, not the longest possible, but it's very concise. It's very high quality and you're able to get tables and lists. So it's really, really well formatted, but the length again just isn't there in terms of you know trying to write very, very long articles, but that's okay once you have the right information in those articles. So I'm gonna tell it to do the same thing for the next section. So currently we're at caring for seedlings, which is at this section here within the outputs. So we've got quite a few outputs to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna tell it to continue uh, writing and continue doing the same thing for each section. So as you can see, I'm just continuing the same process. I'm telling the AI to do the same thing for each section by section, and it's generating me um, that specific section based upon the outline. And even if you continue to tell it to write more sections, even after it's finished its conclusion, you'll still be able to get more content. So as you can see, it's very, very easy for you to generate long articles using Claude. Um, all you have to do is generate an outline first, make sure the outline is in depth, and then take each section of those outlines and generate it as a full article by itself. You're not gonna really get the length that you get with GPT-4 or GPT-3.5 when using Claude, but it's much more concise and it's much more well formatted. And I found that it's able to follow instructions and prompts much more um, easily compared to GPT-4. GPT-4 used to be really, really good, but there's definitely been some degradation in terms of its quality. It's not as good as it used to be. So it can be a little bit frustrating to get GPT-4 um, to steer it in the right direction that you want it to be. But Claude seems to be very easy to do so. The only um, drawback that I would see with this is that sometimes it follows the same formats where you have a lot of just bullet points and things of that nature, but it just makes things much more easier to read. Um, this content is really, really easy to read. It's very skimmable. Even though we haven't concluded this article, let's go ahead and do a quick word count check. And this is already 4,000 words. And as you can see, it's very, very easy for us to generate um, that long piece of text. And if you wanted to, again, continue to get more content, just tell it to write more. If I tell it to continue writing, even though I spelled that incorrectly, it will still be able to continue writing on this topic. So you can write as much content as you like. And um, as you can see, it's not very time um, intensive. You're able to do it fairly quickly. And if we continue to do so for a couple other sections, we would definitely be able to reach that 5,000 word mark. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope that you learned something new and I highly recommend using Claude AI if you're trying to write more long or in-depth blog posts. It's been really good at generating high quality outputs for a variety of topics. If you guys enjoyed today's video, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.